Good morning, Internet Land. I just wanted to share with you uh, this morning how my connection to you works here off grid on the mountaintop. Because to me, it is quite perplexing and has a lot to do with um, why I think we should be more connected and, and, and beings more connected, be able to live more efficiently um, and not be paying communication companies. Uh, thousands of dollars out of our pocket every year so ubiquity which is an awesome company makes these point-to-point -point radios so I have this radio here that points up on the house there's an antenna if you look you can see there's a radio antenna so my radio points to the rat radio and it goes down into my little solar setup Right now you can actually hear the generator running because um, these panels are a little bit too low and that's why I actually had to be on the phone with the and reconfigure it this morning because it was out for a couple, like two days and it lost the configuration settings. So it's not perfect, but it's still, you know, it's, it's working pretty well. But as the sun is getting lower, I actually need a little bit more thought into where the placement of these panels. So as it is now, only one of these panels is being connected. Um, if we rack them up and get them into the sun, couple that with a $100 turbine, this will never go down. Um, the setup only actually needs one amp an hour. Um, this battery right here, I believe is like a 150 amp hour battery. So theoretically, even if I didn't get any juice, I could run this thing for about four or five days, but it's kind of been going down slowly. So what I have here is the guy who set this up simply got a power inverter from the car store <laughs> that up, ups the power from 12 volt to 24 volts to power um, these two radios. I believe they might actually run, be able to run on the 12 volt, but that's just to be safe. Um, and then also directly into the the battery from the battery from this charge controller. It goes to this Netgear router, which basically gives us DHCP and also hosts um, a repeating radio here that goes to my neighbors. So he has internet from the same setup. And then this thing um, gives us internet. So actually, since we moved the fifth wheel, the fifth wheel used to be right there. Um, now it's over there. And unfortunately, as you can see, there's rocks there and a little bit of a higher point, which means I don't really get good internet signal because the packets are bouncing all over the place and getting lost. So um, in the next week or so, I'm gonna connect another antenna that goes all the way to the top of that and it should be able to give us internet access on the entire hillside, which is really exciting. Um, I will be able to really be anywhere on this mountain and be able to upload these kinds of videos to you which is crazy cool and crazy scary especially if it's uh you know just being used to make other people money but yeah that's their internet and it's back up stoked later